Light, cheap, rugged, that's the rough idea behind a new wave of small attack and surveillance aircraft. Two names you'll hear a lot are Canada's TAV, Tactical Air Vehicle, from Icarus Aerospace, and the American Sky Raider II. Both are built around a simple truth. Not every battlefield job needs a multi-million dollar fighter or a drone. Instead, these planes deliver long loiter time, lots of payload options, and low operating costs for tasks like close air support, armed overwatch, patrol, and ISR. The tactical air vehicle is a clean sheet design from Montreal's Icarus Aerospace. It's a twin turboprop, optionally piloted, can be crewed, remotely flown, or eventually autonomous aircraft built for many roles. ISR, close air support, resupply, medevac, and maritime patrol. Icarus bills it as very flexible lots of hard points, modern avionics, and a design built to operate from rough fields. The company claims a payload in the 8,000 pound class and long endurance, around six and a half hours in baseline figures, making it useful for persistent missions without the cost of jets. The Sky Raider II grew from the air tractor at 802 agricultural airframe that was militarized into the AT802U. L3 Harris with air tractor developed the Sky Raider II to meet the US armed overwatch needs. An inexpensive, survivable plane for close air support, precision strike, and armed ISR. It's a single engine, heavy duty workhorse, armored cockpit options, simple maintenance, good payload, and the ability to operate from austere airstrips. The U.S. program selected it for special operations use, and it has been entering service and training units. How they compare? Design approach. The tactical air vehicle is twin turboprop, clean sheet, optionally piloted, lots of customization options. Built for modularity and future upgrades, sensors, weapons, and autonomy. Sky Raider 2 is single engine, evolved from a proven agricultural platform, simpler and already fielded in militarized variants, optimized for low cost and robustness. Roles Both aim at close air support, armed overwatch or precision strike, ISR, maritime patrol and theater support. Tactical air vehicle emphasizes optional uncrewed operation and a wider family, WASP, Branta, for different roles. Sky Raider 2 focuses on proven immediate combat support and ISR for special ops. Payload and Endurance The tactical air vehicle is claimed to have a payload of 8,000 pounds and 6.5 hours endurance in baseline figures. This hints at strong carry and long loiter. Sky Raider 2 Robust external hardpoints and internal options. Designed for modular mission packs and long loiter, though exact payload endurance varies with configuration. The tactical air vehicle is designed with survivability and redundancy in mind. Optionally piloted systems sensor fusion, but still a newer design without large scale operational track record. Cost estimates are lower than fighters, but not yet as proven as legacy militarized airframes. Sky Raider 2 built around rugged, battle-hardened concepts, armored bathtub cockpit, simple systems, lower acquisition and operating costs than jets, fielded in SOCOM programs which speeds real-world testing and improvement. Both are cheap to buy and fly compared to jets, can stay overhead for hours, carry smart weapons and sensors, operate from short rough runways, easier logistics and maintenance, lower risk of expensive attrition. However, these aircrafts are slower and lower in altitude than jets, so they're vulnerable to modern air defenses unless used in permissive environments or with suppression support. They're not replacements for fighters in contested airspace. The Sky Raider 2's strength is its proven fast fielding. The tactical air vehicles is its modular design and optionally piloted future, but need time and testing to become reliable. Who 
benefits and how could they change things? These aircraft let countries buy persistent air power without buying expensive jets. That changes the math of air support for many armed forces. Long loiter and precision strike at low cost fit counterinsurgency, border patrol and partner training roles. The Sky Raider 2 is already adopted for such use in the US context. Armies can mix drones, helicopters, and these light attack planes to get persistent sensing and strike while keeping costs down. The optional pilot angle, TAV, could bridge crewed and uncrewed operations. So, Tactical Air Vehicle and Sky Raider 2 are siblings in a new family of affordable, mission-focused aircraft. The Sky Raider 2's advantage is real-world selection and early deliveries based on a simple, proven airframe. The Tactical Air Vehicle's edge is its fresh design, twin engines, optional pilot capability, and broad modularity. Each has trade-offs, speed and survivability in high-threat airspace remain concerns, but in the many scenarios where long presence, low costs, and flexible payloads matter, these planes can reshape how air support is delivered. For many countries and mission types, light attack or ISR planes are not a full replacement for fighters or drones, but they are a powerful practical tool that can change the economics and tactics of persistent air power.